She was born, by all appearances, a boy. Even before she could talk, she gravitated towards all the girly toys and colors. And um, when she could talk, she would um, she would say, like, "I wish I was a girl." But when it's like your son, you know, asking you to do this, you know, and I think I, I wasn't thinking about her feelings. What at the, at the time? A little bit afraid for her. Yeah, I was, and I still am afraid for her. You know, if we continued to say no, mm -hmm. you have to live as a boy, she would continue, you know, sh she's young, I'm, I'm sure she <clears throat> would have done it, but like, we didn't want to be her first bully. What? And so Ava became Ava in the second grade. So now, are you who you think you should be? Yeah, 100%. 100%, and that would be Ava? Yeah. <laughs> About 10% of youth these days, we think, um, are identifying as gender diverse. They don't quite feel like the gender they were assigned at birth. What? Dr. Meredith McNamara is an assistant professor of pediatrics at Yale University. She sees transgender teens in her medical practice. Give me first a definition of transgender. In general, it's an identity that's different from one sex assigned at birth. What? Six tenths of a percent of all Americans identify as transgender, about 300,000 teenagers. <coughs> at least 121,000 trans kids have been diagnosed with something called gender dysphoria, severe distress, even suicidal thoughts related to their gender identity. It is painful to live with gender dysphoria, and it really does need medical treatment. What we're looking at right here is the established criteria for diagnosing gender dysphoria in mm -hmm. adolescents and adults. The guidelines deal both with when to give puberty-blocking drugs, ah! which stave off development and buy time, and when to prescribe sex hormones, which cause permanent changes in line with gender. Ah! This is the most careful and thoughtful type of medicine <laughs> I have ever practiced. But Americans are split on whether minors ever should be offered any treatment. One Pew poll found 46% favored making it illegal, period. And since 2021, 20 states have enacted full or partial bans. We want to see all of America protecting children from all gender-affirming care. Terry Schilling is president of the American Principles Project, a conservative advocacy group that promotes bans on care for minors. I think that adults transitioning is, is a totally different thing than children transitioning. Uh, children don't know what they're going to be when they get older. Explain to me why that is a decision that should be made by the state. The state makes all types of decisions around our children. You have to be 21 years old to smoke cigarettes. You have to be 21 years old to drink. You have to be 18 years old to get a, a tattoo. But we're going to let children get cross-sex hormones? What do you say to people who say, you know, what's the downside of just waiting at least until a child is 18? If parents don't want to consent to this treatment, then they shouldn't. So. The problem with waiting, if that young person is in serious distress, is that that distress is only going to get worse. And we do know that young people who qualify for gender affirming care, desire it, and don't receive it, have high rates of depression, anxiety, suicide attempts, and even completed suicide. What? When he was 13, he became profoundly depressed. Um, there was a suicide attempt, and he became a severe self-injurer. We tried to find new therapists. We tried new psychiatric drugs. And he never really seemed to get better. Absolutely of the belief that we couldn't take any permanent measures until he had his mental health problems sorted out. Her son, who declined to be interviewed but supported his mother in speaking to us, started hormone therapy on his own at 19. The parents of some of these children would look at you and say, if you want to protect kids, 
leave us alone. We are leaving your kids alone. We are the ones that are protecting them from getting sex change procedures and puberty blocking. And, and they would say, hormones. we know better than you do. And I would tell them they don't. And then we can just de deal with it in say politics. That? That's not funny! I'm an American citizen that gets to vote and organize people in politics. When we both disagree, then we go to the, go to the, the American people and make our cases to them, and we see who can pass the most laws. And right now, we're starting to win. We are afraid that more restrictions are on their way, like we are seeing in other states, because, you know, here in North Carolina, lawmakers are kind of like seeing what will stick and what can be passed.